Today, I'm gonna to be talking chart formatting, and we're gonna go from a basic chart with something like I've got on the screen at the moment, and we're gonna end up with something that looks like this, which is infinitely more presentable. Hi, John here, and this is Up For Excel. So we're gonna start with some absolute basic data, and I'm just gonna highlight that using some keyboard shortcuts, which you'll see on your screen. And then Alt F1 is going to give me an instant chart on the screen that we can then use. So I'm just going to position this uh, for you, make it a little bit larger, perhaps not quite that large. And I'm actually going to produce another one. So I'm going to highlight the exact same area, do another chart so that we've got a little reminder down there of what it used to look like before we improved it. First thing we're going to do, clean up the chart, axes and grid lines. I'm just going to uh, take Excel off of full screen here so we can see the toolbars. And when I click on the chart, you're going to see that we have some chart tools, toolbars appear. First one being design. I've done an entire video going through all the different aspects of chart design. So if you want a reminder on that, check out my previous video on those. So today we're going to be focused mainly on the format toolbar and all the different aspects of this. One thing that can make a chart look cleaner straight away is removing some of the axes and grid lines. Now, of course, the moment you do that, you need to make some modifications to the chart so you can see what uh, kind of value things are. There's several ways you can do this actually to remove the axes. Well, if you click on the axes, you can just hit the delete key and that will remove them instantly. But if I just undo that a second, one thing you can do is you can say on the design page, add a chart element. You can say, uh, go to axes and you can just, sorry, grid lines, where's the grid lines? And you can remove them by just pecking an option on there. So that is another way. So I've taken those off. Right, I'm actually going to remove the axes as well. So I can either again, click straight on it and hit the delete key, and that will do that. But we're gonna undo that at the moment. Or again, add chart elements, axes, and you just, the one that you wanna get rid of, you just highlight and click. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is move around the titles and position our legend and things like that. We've got a legend at the moment, it's down here, so, we can click on legend and we can move that to the top. I think that's a, a preferable place to have it. So we'll do that right now. And I'm going to add a chart title. Now, an interesting tip on this, if we, uh, we can manually type in here anything we like. So we can type in uh, sales and profit, for example, that's fine, but if we want to have a title on screen, company sales and profit, we can actually dynamically link this title here by just putting that it equals that cell and hitting enter. And that way, if we want to modify the chart title at any point in time, we can just type straight into here so we can say company uh, X, for example, and you'll see that that appears on the chart. We'll actually just go back to saying it's called sales and profit. And I'm going to make the font size much, much larger and bolder. And I'm also going to increase the size of that and make it bold in legend and position that centrally as well. Okay. Right, while we're at it, I think we will format that. So again, we can make that bold. We can increase the size of the font. So that's looking a bit better. We're now actually going to add some data labels onto these bars in our chart so we can actually understand what on earth it is we're looking at. So you click back on the chart Go to design, we're going to add some, like I said, data labels. And I'm going to pick ones that say inside the end. 
So that certainly is a total mess. I'm sure you'll agree, um, not something we want to be looking at. So we'll click on the series there. And then over on this side of the screen, you can see we have uh, various options on how we can format this. Now, the one thing that we really need to sort out is the number. At the moment, it's a general format and we could use, um, say, a number format with no decimal places. Uh, if we do that straight away, that's a small improvement. But I actually want to use a custom number format on here. And I pre-entered this custom number format. I want to show something in millions. And the way that you do that is you it put these commas into your um, into the number format and every time you put a comma but put nothing in between it says well i'm not going to show the next three numbers so if i wanted to do the same with thousands and i've pretty done this one you could do something like this where you're effectively saying show the number with uh add one just have one comma on the end with nothing after it which means don't show the last three zero like the last three digits but like i say we're going to use this m1 and the format code of that like i say we've got two commas saying show in millions but the 0, 0.0 means that we're going to show you know one decimal place on that so that's our format for that but we also want it to be um bold so we can use the main menu for that maybe up the font size i think we you know we'll color it in white and you'll see in a minute why now, out of interest, you would think that you'd be able to do a format paint and just click on there, but for some strange reason, it, re it really doesn't work. I mean, it gets the color, but it doesn't get the uh, number format right. So, unfortunately, you've pretty much got to do it manually. So, straight away, we we'll want to change this chart time because it's not what we're not appropriate. Now, we could pick all manner of different chart types, but I the one I want to uh, focus on today is a stacked column chart. So I will instantly uh, change it to that. There's a couple of things straight away about that that I don't like. Firstly, I want the profit figure, which is the one in orange on that chart, to be at the bottom. So I need to change the order here. So if I click on select data again, and click on the profit entry and move it up so that it's the first one being plotted rather than the second and you can see straight away that has done that the other thing that i would like is much wider uh bars on this chart we can click on any series and what we need to do is go to um the series options and change the gap width. Now we can do that over here, but we can also do that by selecting um, format selection on anything from this drop down box here. So the gap width, we can just test this by moving it around. Um, now we could experiment with other charts, but I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, it's looking good.